Europe's largest ever dinosaur, discovered on the Isle of Wight, and is bigger than Tyrannosaurus rex. This is what the researchers believe. They've got bones from the Isle of Wight that belong to Europe's largest ever dinosaur. Paleontologists from the University of Southampton identified remains of a spinosaur, a crocodile-faced hunter. It was over 10 meters from snout to tail, that's over 30 feet. The dinosaur, which roamed the Earth about 125 million years ago, was part of a two-legged predatory spinosaurid. This is what PhD student Chris Baker, who led the research, noted. These bones belong to a huge animal, he said. The team unearthed vertebrate and parts of vertebra and parts of the pelvis and a limb bone fossilized in rock in the southwest of the Isle of Wight. The rock was discovered after it had eroded from a cliff and tumbled onto the beach at Campton Bay. Dr. Neil Gosling, paleonto uh, paleobiologist at University of Southampton, said, From the bones that we've got, this animal may be the largest predatory dinosaur that's ever been found in Europe. The creature has been dubbed the White Rock Spinosaurid after the geological layer in which the fossils were discovered. Mr. Baker said that uh, this was a, lar a huge animal, uh, animal exceeding 30 feet in length, probably several tons in weight. Judging from some of the dimensions, it appears to represent one of the largest predatory dinosaurs ever found in Europe, maybe the biggest yet known. It's a shame it's only now known from a small amount of material, but these are enough to show it was an immense creature. While the Spinosaurus were land-based creatures, experts believe they spent a considerable time in or near the water, with fish consisting of a substantial portion of what they ate, their diet. But paleontologists are unsure whether these dinosaurs hunted the fish or scavenged on them after they washed up on shore. Dr. Gosling said, you, unusually, this specimen eroded out of the Vectus formation, which is notoriously poor in dinosaur fossils. It's likely to be the youngest spinosaur material yet known from the UK. The co-author is Darren Nish, and he said that uh, this new animal bolsters our previous argument, published last year, that spinosaurid dinosaurs originated and diversified in Western Europe before they became more widespread. He says, we hope that additional remains will turn up in time because it's only known from fragments. At the moment, we have not given it a formal scientific name, Mr. Naish said. We hope that additional remains will turn up in time. Well, maybe if they uh, uh, somehow excavate that part of the cliff that it fell from, they'll find more there. Maybe they went around in groups. Now, the scientists suggest that marks on the bone indicate little tunnels bored into a lump of pelvis show that the body of the giant dinosaur would have picked, uh, been picked over by scavengers and decomposed after it had died. Co-author Jeremy Lockwood, PhD student, University of Portsmouth and Natural History Museum said, we think they were caused by bone-eating larva of a type of scavenging beetle. It's an interesting thought that this giant killer wound up becoming a meal for the host of insects. This is on Express UK today's article. By Anthony Ashkenaz, please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.